I'm here with Peyton Reed, director of Ant-Man now. Are you also directing Ant-Man and Wasp, correct? That's correct, yeah. All right, so uh, I have a question for you. Why Scott Lang instead of uh, Hank Pym? Well, originally when the script was written way back, I think the first drafts were written in like 2007, maybe, uh, that Edgar Wright and, uh, or, and Joe Cornish wrote, you know, they sort of made this decision, let's, let's make it a heist movie. And let's, let's kick off with the sort of Scott Lang version of Ant-Man. I think one of the reasons they wanted to do that is to sort of have a, a, a mentor-pupil relationship between Hank Pym and, and Scott Lang. And it just really seemed to work. And for me, when we got around to making the movie and had Michael Douglas playing Hank Pym, we kind of had our cake and ate it too, you know, with both those characters. Now, how protective are you? I know that I'm sure you saw Civil War. How protective are you with the character of Scott Lang? Now that you see him on the big screen, you're like, oh, what are they going to do with my guy? Oh, yeah, no. And there's a lot of sort of uh, crosstalk at Marvel. You know, the Russos came into the editing room when we were cutting Ant Man, and, you know, because they wanted to really sort of see how we had developed that character and, you know, what how Paul was playing Scott Lang and, and also I showed them, you know, as much of the movies I could show them and, you know, had a lot of input, you know, with the screenwriters when they were uh, figuring out how Ant-Man, how Scott Lang was going to work into Civil War. So that's really gratifying is to actually be able to, you know, uh, you know, talk about it from everything from costume design to sort of how that character behaves. So I loved it. Now, rumor has it you were in a rock band when you were in your younger years and uh, one of your covers was uh, of, of, you drew, was it Ant-Man or Giant Man? Yeah, it was a flyer. I drew a flyer for a show we were doing. This was 1988. I was a drummer for a punk band called Johnny Quest. And I would draw the flyers and I ripped off the... Great name for a band, by the way. Thank you. And I ripped off the cover of Avengers number one and drew the four band members as members of the Avengers and I drew myself as Ant-Man, which is a very weird thing to think about. Full circle, full circle. Now, we're here, we're called That Hashtag Show. Can you give me a hashtag... Spoiler, maybe not spoiler, but yeah. something that something that could possibly be happening in uh, Ant-Man and Wasp. Oh, hashtag spoiler. Uh, let's see. Hashtag Ant-Man Wasp equal time. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm really excited for the Wasp. I'm a huge fan of Evangeline Lilly yeah. and uh, what you did with that character. Excellent, excellent storytelling, and that's one of my favorite Marvel movies. So thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Nice talking. Pleasure to meet you.